Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to chapter 1 integration. In this video, we will learn about the volume of a region. There are two cases to determine the volume of a region. Case number 1. It is when a curve is revolved or rotated about the x-axis whereas case number two it is when a curve is revolved or rotated about the y-axis case number one a graph is revolved about the x-axis look at the formula the volume is equal to an integral of a limit from a to b pi times y squared dx. One thing that you have to focus is at the keyword x exists. The keyword of x exists here is referring to the integrals having dx with the limit of x equals to a until x is equals to b. This is one important thing that we have to know first. Secondly, we need the pi and also the squared in order to find the volume of a region. Let's do the first question. Find the volume revolving the graph about the x-axis. Step 1. Sketch the graph. What we have here is a negative quadratic. Don't forget to label y equals to 4 minus x squared and now it is said that the region is in the first quadrant only. Therefore, I shade the region. But we have a problem here. We do not know the x-intercept. Therefore, we let y equals to 0. And there you go. I got x is equals to 2 and negative 2. The word revolving means we are rotating the graph about the x-axis. So imagine that the graph is being rotated circularly 360 degree and we will get a reflection of the graph whereby a circular kind of shape is formed. We call this an irregular shape. And so we need to find this volume. Step 2 came in write down the formula of the volume where the graph rotates at the x-axis. So volume is equals to an integral of focus at the word x-axis. Therefore, you know that integral is involving the limit of x. Therefore, integral x with dx, the limit is from 0 to 2. That is our region and you have, you must put pi and also squared and in the middle there is your y function your y function now is 4 minus x squared so you replace the y into becoming 4 minus x squared and then you solve it integrate it Let's go to the second question. Find the volume of a region by rotating the graph about the x-axis. Step 1. We must sketch the graph. The easiest to draw is drawing the linear first, y is equal to x, and then we draw the quadratic one. So, 
I know that this will shift to the right by two units. Therefore, our graph is a smiling graph. Don't forget, straight away label your POI. POI means the point of intersection. Therefore, the region, the shaded region is between the both points. In order to find the point of intersection, we must make both graph, we must make both curve becoming equivalent to each other. So I label y1 is equals to the quadratic and the y2 is our linear, x. And so our x is 1 and 4. Straight away label at the graph. I use a dotted line to represent my x coordinate, number 4 and number 1. Now, step 2. Write down the formula of the volume where the graph is rotates about the x axis. Remember, rotate about the x axis, it is just means having a reflection of the original graph. What I did is just finding its reflection. I also draw a circular shape there for both ends to represent that a volume will have a 3D shape. Therefore, we need to start finding its volume by using the formula. We call this shape as an irregular shape. And this formula of the volume where the integral is having a limit x from the point 1 to point 4 and we have pi because of the circular shape. A tree shape must have a circular and then in a big bracket having a curve minus a curve. But which curve minus which curve? So here you need to look at the original region where your top curve will be minus by the bottom curve. So here our top curve is y2 minus by y1, the bottom curve. This formula is to find our middle region. And we have learned this in our tutorial class. The area of a region. It is just the same method. Top curve minus by bottom curve to find the middle region. I'll leave it to you here for you to see the final answer. Thank you.